One day, an invitation arrived at Arirang TV. Greetings from Vietnam Embassy. To help journalists get an in-depth view of contemporary life and socio-economic development in Vietnam, we are organizing a country familiarization field trip to Vietnam for Korean journalists in 2023. You are invited to join the Korean Journalist Group to Vietnam. Vietnam! To find out the exact purpose and reason for this trip, I decided to meet one of the Vietnamese diplomats who organized it. First of all, uh, the Embassy of Vietnam in Seoul uh, would like to further deepen the understanding and the cooperation between Vietnam and Korea. The relations between the two countries is, is uh, at the highest now. He's right. Korea and Vietnam's diplomatic relationship was elevated to a comprehensive strategic partnership in 2022, the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations. It was an advancement of ties that had developed from the comprehensive partnership in the 21st century established in 2001 and the strategic cooperative partnership established in 2009. The main target of our, our purpose is uh, that uh, to, to boost the, the understanding between Vietnam and Korea. I got it. To boost understanding between Korea and Vietnam is the main purpose of this trip. Ariang is uh, very well known mm -hmm. and uh, you possess a huge audience. <laughs> and the Embassy of Vietnam in Ariang TV has a very close and good relationship. So when, when we first think of the, this trip, one of the first names appear in our minds is Ariang TV. <laughs> you and heard it, right? 그러니까 아리랑 TV랑 디플로마 토크가 아주 특별한 인물을 들고 베트남에 가게 되는 거예요. 바로 한국과 베트남의 관계를 더욱 이롭게 하라. <웃음> 그래 결심했어요. 우리 결심이에요. <웃음> 감독님 관계를 이롭게 하기 위해 선행되어야 하는 게 뭐죠? 모르겠는데. 서로를 알아야죠. 바로 이것입니다. 베트남에 가게 된 김에 한국과 베트남 관계에 대한 모든 것을 베트남 현지에서 알아와야겠어요. 모든 것을. 모든 것. 네, 제가 바로 한국과 베트남 관계를 널리 알리는 인간 마스코트가 되어보겠습니다. 인간 마스코트가 되어보겠습니다, 여러분. <웃음> And finally, the day arrived. It is the day I go to Vietnam. What is it? 한 언론사당 한 명만 갈수 있대요. If only one can go. 제가 촬영을 해야 한다는 이야기? That sounds about right. 감독님, 어떡하죠? 네, so that is how I ended up going to Vietnam alone with only my camera. All the people here are in line to go to Vietnam. 비행기 못 하겠네. 어? 사람 이렇게 많은데 시작부터 우당탕탕이에요. Thankfully, my luggage was checked in on time 
and I also exchanged my money into Vietnamese money. Our director left, and I was really alone traveling without any staff. And this is my plane. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Lee Hyuk, the former Korean ambassador to Vietnam. What is it? 바로 여행 내내 우리를 도와줄 멘토가 있다는 거죠. A mentor. Former Ambassador Lee Hyuk is a recognized Asia expert who has served as the Director General of the Asia and Pacific Affairs Bureau of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well as Korean Ambassador to the Philippines and Korean Ambassador to Vietnam. In particular, he spent his last two years as a diplomat as Ambassador to Vietnam. And he will be our mentor during the trip. Then, I will head to Hanoi now. We've arrived in Hanoi. Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam and one of the five major economic cities. Hanoi, with over 8 million Vietnamese citizens, is the second most populous city in Vietnam after Ho Chi Minh City. It is also the political, social, and cultural center of Vietnam and considered one of the popular tourist destinations in Southeast Asia. The first thing I noticed after arriving in Hanoi was there are a lot of motorcycles. I heard there were a lot of motorcycles, but seeing it with my own two eyes was truly a sight. I am standing here at Trong Tia Street in Hanoi. It is one of Hanoi's busiest streets with a variety of things to see and do. It is also great for shopping because there are a lot of shops. There was a hotel that caught my eye and I decided to check it out. The Metropole Hotel opened in 1901. It is a place with a lot of history. On the first floor, there are many black and white photos hanging on the walls, providing a good look of Hanoi's past. Looking at photos of Vietnam from the past, I became curious. How did Korea and Vietnam first establish diplomatic relations? I decided to ask our mentor. Pertinamirang 잘 모르고 음. 뭐 그런 시대랬죠. 그런데 베트남은 우리한테 좀 많이 알려져 있었어요. 아, 왜냐하면 네. 우리가 월남 전쟁에 참전을 했기 때문에 네. 1964년부터 73년까지. In October 1955, South Korea recognized the Republic of Vietnam. 
and in May 1956, the two countries established diplomatic relations. When the Vietnam War broke out, South Korea dispatched more than 300,000 soldiers over six times from 1964 to 1973. Then, in 1975, just before the fall of the Republic of Vietnam, South Korea withdrew its embassy from Vietnam and severed diplomatic relations with it. In 1976, Vietnam changed the name from the Democratic Republic of Vietnam to the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. After, exchanges between South Korea and Vietnam stopped. Then, in the 1980s, the two countries laid the foundation for exchange. In the late 1980s, South Korea pursued its northern policy and began exchanges with communist countries, such as China and Eastern Europe. Vietnam began reform and opening in 1986 with the Doi Moi, or Restoration Policy. With the Seoul Olympics held in 1988, the two countries agreed to revitalize cultural exchanges. And on December 22, 1992, the two countries finally established diplomatic relations and established embassies in each other's countries. We 그렇게 할수 없다. 빨리 우리가 외교 베트남과 월남 저 외교 관계를 정상화해야 된다. 뭐 이러한 입장으로 우리의 생각을 그대로 관철했다. 사실 한 베트남 외교 관계 수립은 굉장히 그 한국 외교에 있어서 가장 성공적인 사례였다 이렇게 볼수 있죠. Since the establishment of diplomatic relations, the relationship has become even closer. In May 1993, the Vietnamese Prime Minister visited South Korea for the first time since the establishment of diplomatic relations. And in April 1995, the General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam also visited South Korea. In November 1996, a South Korean president paid a state visit to Vietnam for the first time in history. Celebrating the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relations in 2022, on the occasion of the then Vietnamese president's state visit to South Korea, the Korea-Vietnam Joint Statement on Comprehensive Strategic Partnership was announced. In June 2023, President Yoon suk yeol made a state visit to Vietnam. I dressed a bit more formally today. Why? It is related to where I am headed today. The person we came to meet at the ministry today is the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs. Vì ở Việt Nam chúng tôi thì quá nhiều thông tin về Hàn Quốc, nhiều các cái bộ phim rồi mỹ phẩm rồi xe hơi rồi điện thoại, thậm chí là thanh niên của chúng tôi thuộc K-pop hơn cả V-pop. Nên chúng tôi cũng rất là mong báo chí Hàn Quốc lại giúp quảng bá Việt Nam đến công chúng Hàn Quốc. Cũng như vậy, 
Việt Nam chúng tôi thì có rất nhiều di sản thiên nhiên được thế giới công nhận, UNESCO công nhận. Có rất nhiều sân gôn đẹp và rất nhiều món ăn ngon. Thật sự là Hàn Quốc và Việt Nam là như 서로에게서는 정말 없어서는 안될 그런 귀중한 존재가 됐습니다. 한국이 이제 베트남의 최대 투자국이지만 최저 투자국이고 어, 한국에 있어서 베트남은 이제 일본을 거의 초월해서 제3의 무역 상대국이 되고, 되고 있습니다. 그러니까 한국이 베트남에 있어서 어, 중요한 나라이기도 하지만 베트남도 한국에 있어서 정말 한국의 경제 발전에 굉장히 중요한 나라가 됐다 이렇게 말씀드릴 수가 있습니다. Cái kết quả hợp tác này nó không chỉ ở trong bình diện song phương mà cả trên các cái diễn đàn đa phương trong khuôn khổ Liên hợp quốc và đặc biệt là Hàn Quốc cũng là một đối tác rất quan trọng ở trong cơ chế ASEAN mà Việt Nam là một thành viên rất là tích cực. Through our meeting with Vietnamese Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, I learned that Vietnam is a very important country for Korea and vice versa. I also learned that the people of both countries have a very high interest in each other. Vietnam 반대로 이제 베트남인들도 한국에 가서 음. 베트남 유학생들도 지금 한국에 한 6만 명 정도 있어요. 네. 제일 큰 유학 생을 보내는 나라야 베트남이. 음. 이제 중국을 초과했어요. 음. 그만큼 이제 뭐든지 경제 관계가 깊어지면 음. 다른 관계가 파생적으로 따라오게 돼 있어요. 음. 어? 네. Bilateral trade volume which was only 500 million U.S. dollars when diplomatic relations were established in 1992, increased about 160-fold to exceed $87 billion in 2022. As of September 2023, Vietnam is South Korea's third largest export destination and sixth largest import destination, while Korea is Vietnam's third largest export destination and second largest import destination. Overall, the two countries are each other's third largest trading partners. South Korea's main export items to Vietnam include semiconductors, flat panel displays and sensors, and petroleum products, while it mostly imports wireless communication devices, clothing and computers from Vietnam. And from 1988 to June 2023, South Korea was Vietnam's number one investor with a cumulative investment of almost 82 billion US dollars. Meanwhile, led by Samsung CNT and Daewoo in 1989, LG entered the Vietnamese market in 1990, which was followed by Shinhan Bank, GS ENC, and Daewoo ENC in 1992. To date, the number of Korean companies operating in Vietnam amounts to approximately 9,000. These companies are contributing to the development of economic cooperation between the two countries by creating more than 700,000 jobs in Vietnam. We didn't stop there. We decided to visit a few Korean companies located in Vietnam. Our first stop was Pak Chang Province. It has one of Vietnam's most important industrial complexes with many Korean companies present. This is a place that is emerging as a center of economic exchange between Korea and Vietnam. Hana Micron Factory is one of them. Hana Micron is a company specializing in semiconductor post-processing, including semiconductor packaging and testing. 
the company completed construction and began operating its first factory in Bakjang province in 2020. Then, in September 2023, the completion ceremony for the second factory was held. So, we have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. Why does Hana Micron view Vietnam as an important production base? 일단 그 코스트 경쟁력으로 네. 그 가장 그 경쟁력이 있는 곳이 어디냐 미중 무역 갈등 때문에 탈중국도 음. 있고 그래서 이제 베트남이 뭐이 선택하게 됐고 음. 그리고 이 중국 다음으로 음. 어떤 그 SCM이 그래도 베트남이 좀 이렇게 저 삼성이 진출하고 하면서 어느 정도 이 기반이 좀 잡혀 있기 때문에. 그래서 이제 베트남 쪽으로 음. 이제 많이 진출하고 있습니다. 음. 한국 회사에 대한 베트남인들의 이미지는 어떤가요? 한국에서 오는 회사들은 기본적으로 이제 그 법규 준수라든지 그리고 한국 있을 때도 이제 그 그레이트 워크플레이스 GWP 개념을 어느 정도 갖고 많이 하던 회사들이 이제 들어와 있기 때문에 음. 현지인들이 이제 그 회사에 대한 만족도나 이런 거는 한국 기업들이 굉장히 좀그 좋고 이런 부분은 제도적 개선이 필요하다라고 생각하시는 부분이 있으신지 최근 들어 가지고는 또 이제 글로벌 최저 한세라는 거기 24년 1월부터 적용이 되는데 그렇게 되면 이제 그동안 그 베트남 국 정부에서 유치하려고 했던 각종 인센티브가 다 무용지물이 되는 이런 거거든요. 그런 것들이 정말 그 인센티브가 될수 있도록 음. 그런 어떤 그 대체 인센티브가 좀 도입이 됐으면 좋겠어요. It is very interesting to hear the overall story of a Korean company entering Vietnam. Shall we visit another company? This time, we are going to Ho Chi Minh City. This is Saigon High Tech Park in Ho Chi Minh City. One of Samsung Electronics factories is located here as well. This is our destination for today, Samin Pharmaceuticals factory in Vietnam. Samin Pharmaceutical, a Finnish pharmaceutical manufacturer, mainly deals with prescription drugs specialized for ophthalmology, liver disease, and the digestive system. Since 2018, the company has invested a total of $75 million to establish an eye drops production plant in Vietnam and held a completion ceremony for the plant in November 2022. About 330 million eye drops can be produced here annually. We decided to take a look inside the factory. 일회용 전반제를 충전하는 장비이고요. 시간당 3만 앰프를 충전할 수 있는 커피시트를 가지고 있습니다. Currently, there are about 60 local Vietnamese employees here. Once the factory is fully operational, around 200 more people will be hired. 그 이제 먼저 베트남의 공장을 세우기로 결심하신 이유에 대해서 먼저 여쭤볼게요. 결정적인 이유는 여기 베트남이 16개국과 FTA 체결이 되어 있어서 저희가 이제 수출하고자 하는 여러 나라에 무관세로 진행을 할수 있는 그런 아주 우수한 지역이 그런 결정적인 계기가 되었습니다. Vietnamese, the most good place in Vietnam is high-tech science. The first production is 
전부터 4년간은 세금이 없습니다. 한국 혹은 베트남 정부나 관련 기관 등의 이런 제도 등은 좀 개선됐으면 좋겠다 하는 점들이 있으실까요? 가장 힘들었던 건 인허가, 예, 인허가였습니다. 제약 쪽이 그 동안에 이제 FDI 외투 법인이 100% 투자한 회사가 그난 최근 한 20년 동안 저희가 처음이었던 것 같습니다. 그래서 관련 규정이 없어서 규정을 만들어가면서 하는데 굉장히 어려움이 많았습니다. 한국과 다르게 인허가가 원스톱 서비스 그런 개념이 없습니다. Although there were difficulties in building the factory, Samil decided to build it in Vietnam because there were many advantages that Vietnam had to offer. First reason that uh, we have the sustainable politics system and the uh, very potential economic development, and second is uh, because. Uh, I cannot say that it's uh, an excellent uh, legal framework, but it's quite good legal framework. Through the interview, I learned that Vietnam is also making a lot of effort to attract foreign investment. Mm. 자녀들이 좋은 대학을 나와서 이제 좋은 직장에 취직하고 해서 어, 성공을 하는 걸 하나의 큰 부모로서의 목표로 생각을 음. 하는 거예요. 한국이 생각나네요. 음, 한국하고 좀 비슷한, 비슷한 정의만... 측면이 있죠. 음. Listening to my mentor, I thought perhaps the reason Korea and Vietnam have become so close is because the two countries have many similarities. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's Diplomat Talk. Good. 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 아니, 그렇다고 해도 가본 사람보다 안 가본 사람이 더 많지 않겠습니까? 처음 가본 사람만의 편견 없는 순수한 눈으로, 순수한 눈으로 베트남을 바라보고 있겠습니다, 여러분.